terrified to see what kind of a Mickey Mouse search, you know, police investigation was done by the Portugal uh, plea, uh, well, well I'll tell you what, let me, let me stop you there. I'll come back to you because Mark Williams, Thomas, you know stuff about, you know a lot about that, don't you? Uh, good morning, Mickey. Yes, I do. Yes, I mean, I think, you know, Jerry and Kate have come out now talking for two reasons, really. One, to try and continue to keep that profile there and to talk about the effect that it's had on them. Uh, and I think it's important to remember, of course, that as a parent, you will never give up the search for your child. Last year, I met Patty uh, Wesseling in the US. Her son was abducted at the age of 11, Jacob. Uh, he's still missing. Uh, and Patty still goes through it constantly every single day, uh, bringing it to the home shores. Ruth Wilson who went missing on the 27th of November 95. Uh, I know Ruth's parents very, very well and worked with them. Uh, and she's missing. You know, she vanished at the age of 16, uh, no sight or anything at all. And these parents will never give up. Every single phone call they get, particularly around anniversaries and Christmas, they wait in anticipation they will get some news. So Jerry and Kate will never give up. But obviously what they're asking for now is a reinvestigation over some of the elements of it. Uh, and if we go back to the initial stage, there was obviously an awful lot that was done, uh, there was an awful lot that wasn't done, uh, but this, we must forget that this is a Portuguese investigation, and however much influence the uh, British have over Portugal, it is ultimately their investigation. They've conducted what they consider to be an investigation. There are no new leads or inquiries that would require them to open the investigation. Uh, the one thing that Jerry and Kate could do with all the tapas would, would be to go back to the Portuguese police and say, we will cooperate 100% with a review in relation to a reconstruction. And don't forget that reconstruction was something that never took place. And at the time, uh, I was certainly saying that reconstruction would have been very valuable, but they would all have to... I'm sure I remember a reconstruction on television, watching, watching um, it being reenacted. Not with Jerry and Kate, uh, uh, other than, than they went back with their own investigators and did a kind of reconstruction. The Portuguese police wanted to do a full reconstruction with all the tapas and with everyone back in there uh, going through the process. Well, where do you think Madeline is now? Well, the sad reality is, is that the, when children go missing, the main age group between children going missing is 10 to 16. That's where the high numbers are. But between the ages of one and four, which is obviously what Madeline was at the time, uh, within the period of eight minutes, and there's some interesting st statistics here, is 20% of children between the ages of one and four will be located within eight minutes. 99% of those children will be located within 196 minutes. So that shows you the sheer vo the, the, the percentage of children that will recover very quickly. And out of those, 98% of those children will be found within a 1.2 kilometres of the location to which they've gone missing. Where do I think Madeline is now? Well, Madeline was, I still believe that Madeline was abducted outside the apartment. She walked outside the apartment and that was where she was abducted. Um, Jerry and Kate have got to keep hope that Madeline isn't dead and until such time as they've got some confirmation and direct intelligence that tells them that she's dead, they will always live on the hope that she will return. The sad reality is, is that it's probably very unlikely. Can I just quickly say that no, those statistics were for Britain, mm. and I'm sure they don't hold true for Portugal. I'm sure the British government could have put, applied some pressure. I mean, you could have a special investigation where the British police... I'm, I know if somebody went missing here in England, it would be a completely different scenario. The child or whoever would be found in the next 24 hours, 48 hours or whatever. Uh, you know, they, they need to have a special department. I mean, instead of wasting money on stop and search, I was hearing on your radio that they did 100,000 stop and searches and 99.9% .9 were useless. In you know, instead of spending those resources in frightening the community, you know, uh, we should spend it on uh, situations where we can help parents, uh, where children, especially young children, 1 to 10, go missing abroad. You know? I, mean, I think I, I just pick up on that point. I think you're absolutely right as far as uh, knowledge about how to investigate missing children have improved incredibly. And I was at a conference yesterday at the National Missing Persons Conference uh, in Coventry. And, and there is clearly an awful lot is now being done coordinated using agencies as well as the police service to help find missing children. And in Portugal, they are somewhere behind. I think from a policing point of view, they're probably five, maybe six years, maybe even more than that behind in the way they deal 
deal with uh, missing children and some, uh, indeed some of their other investigations. Uh, but I think there's, now, if a child goes missing in the UK, there is an incredible amount of resources that are pulled in and worked on to be able to find that child very quickly. And okay. of we, we have experience on that. Thank you very much, uh, Mark. It's 9.31. Uh, also, I'm grateful to Neymar and John in uh, Dunbar.